guys, I'm Inga, I'm Girl Gone Bookish on YouTube, and I am your Monday here on Bookish Friends. So as you probably know by now, every month we do like a monthly reading challenge here on Bookish Friends where we choose one book from the genre that we picked that month or the subject, whatever. So anyway, this month's topic was magic, and I actually read quite a few magic books um, this month just because once I got started going with that, it just kind of took off. So anyway, the book that I chose to talk to you all about for my monthly challenge book is one that you've probably all heard of, and you've probably all already read it or seen the movie, and that is Beautiful Creatures by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. I loved this book, first of all, just let me say that. Um, I chose it because I've been wanting to read it for a really super long time and then once the movie came out and a lot of people started talking about it that made me want to read it even more and I wanted to read it before I actually saw the movie so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, read it really super quick because I just couldn't put it down. Um, it's kind of a thick book but it reads really fast. You just don't want to stop reading. You have to know what happens. So if you haven't been able to pick up Beautiful Creatures yet. Um, it's about a small town, Gatlin, South Carolina, I believe, and Ethan Waite meets this girl that he's been having dreams about that are so realistic that he wakes up with like mud in his bed or he's wet from the rain. Um, that's how realistic his dreams are about this girl. And then one day he's in school and she walks into his class. Um, she kind of reluctantly starts a friendship with him and then, you know, he's like obviously attracted to her and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and they can communicate with each other just by thinking like he'll he'll think these thoughts what is that Tele not telepathy is that what it is anyway they can communicate like that and um obviously he thinks there's something special about this girl but it takes her a really long time to tell her i'm sorry to tell him what she is and she is a caster and on her 16th birthday she tells him that she will either go light or dark and if she turns dark she'll be like this mean evil person she won't even care about him anymore so she tries to um you know hold him back and not really get into a relationship with him but they're just like connected and drawn to each other um so anyway that's pretty much what this book is about um her you know trying to figure out whether she's gonna go light or dark or not um a whole bunch of stuff happens he meets her family her uncle this house that they live in is just crazy it changes you know depending on his mood and what he's in the mood for his house to look like it's really really cool a really good concept um so yeah, there's all kinds of magic in this. She's a caster, which is kind of like a witch. I thought it was a witch, but she said they prefer the term caster. So I really don't think there's a difference. But yeah, there is like an incubus in there. He talks about vampires, though I don't think any of her relatives were vampires. I'm not sure if they've gone there in this book yet. Um, but yeah, I give it five stars. It was really good. Lots of magic, just totally different. And it's told from Ethan, who is the male in the story. You know, we're so used to hearing things from the female perspective. So it was nice to hear from the male perspective. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I can't wait to see the movie. I hope it lives up to all its expectations. I haven't been watching reviews or anything about the movie because I want to have kind of my own opinion before, um, you know, before I go see it. So yeah, this is the book I chose for this month. I liked it so much, in fact, that I went ahead and um, got Beautiful Darkness, which this is just the cover because I'm reading the book. Um, and I have to be honest, the first part of this book, Lena, is really getting on my nerves. I'm not sure. It's going to take me a little bit to get into it because of that, but I hear it's a good book, just as good as the first one, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to stick with it and read it because I want to read the whole series, but she better get her act together or I will have to choke her to death. Cast her or not, I will choke that girl if she doesn't get her act together. So that is what I read this month. I'm sorry this video is so late on Monday, um, but at least I made it. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.